Hey there, it's Mars, it's We Gay. I'm playing a game called Gay Detective. What do you think this game is about? You can probably guess. Think of the client. Thank goodness, Detective Sappho. I knew you would be up for the job. One of the finest this firm has to offer. Oh, Detective, what an honor to be working with you. My name is Vrushali Goel. I'm a huge fan of your work. The way you solved that last case, the one with the empty birdcage? Absolutely brilliant. Who would have thought it was the wife all along? What? Oh, I'm going off on a tangent again, aren't I? I'm not here to reiterate your successes to you, as I'm sure you've experienced this scenario plenty of times already. I need your expertise to identify certain individuals at an evening gala I'm hosting tonight. But to be more specific, I need you to verify which of my guests are, well, gay. Lesbians, to be specific. They're all women. This is a time-sensitive case. <laughs> I need to know who the lesbians are! <laughs> I need to know! It is of the utmost importance that you determine my guests' sexualities quickly and accurately. Please report back to me by tomorrow. And that is all I have to ask of you. <gasps> a daunting task for most, surely. But your reputation precedes you. When I heard you took up the case, I when I heard you took up the case, I knew I would be in good hands. Best of luck, detective. I will see you tonight. <laughs> 7 p.m. <laughs> what are we doing? Arrow keys to move space to talk. So I'm gonna. Oh, <laughs> that's me. Okay. <laughs> Detective! Oops, oops. Wait. Glad to see you've made it! How do I get to the other rooms? What's the cases button in the top left corner? Why are these shoes on the sh shelf so big? Good to see you. Gotta get on with the mission. Let's see cases button. The cases button will show you a list of all my in invitees. For each guest, there are two buttons underneath their name that allow you to indicate whether you think they are gay or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I figured it would be a more organized way of keeping track of your information. You're welcome. Let's see. Why are the shelves shoes so big? For clarification, yes, they're technically my shoes. No, they don't fit me for obvious reasons. The artist took some serious liberties with them in order to convey that these are indeed shoes. And not accidental dots. In case you haven't noticed, my feet are ant-sized. It's really hard to draw a good-looking a good-looking shoe when you only have five pixels to work with. <laughs> That's fucking funny. How do I get to the other rooms? When you arrive at the end of the hall, press either the space bar or enter to, to enter key to advance. Okay, space bar. Normally, I would have some text on the wall that says press enter or space to leave, but it really breaks the immersion. Not that this dialogue isn't, of course. <laughs> but it's better than the alternative. If you have any more questions regarding how to navigate this game, feel free to consult the help tab in your preferences panel. I'll say good to see you too. Of course, I understand. Enjoy the party, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I'll enjoy the party, all right. Wait. This picture that I'm standing next to, what does that look like to you? Like, it looks like it could be, like, on the left side of the canvas, it looks like someone's, like, licking something. But it also looks like... I'm not gonna say it's too crude. Too crude, dude. Okay. <laughs> Chimamanda. Hey, how's the weather? Oops. How do I... Oh. Just kidding. The weather doesn't really matter when it's nighttime. How do I pronounce your name? What is that? What's that on the wall? It was nice talking to you. I'll say name. It's four syllables. Cheem. Ma. Mon. 
Duh. See, I know how to say it. Pretty simple. If you could pronounce Schwarzenegger or McConaughey or Tchaikovsky, Chimamanda should be a piece of cake. Yes. All those w white names. You should be able to say Chimamanda. And yes, I do get this question a lot. Normally, I wouldn't have the patience to explain, but it seems like today's your lucky day. My parents named me after a Nigerian author, though. Ironically, who I know. That's how I know how to pronounce the name. <laughs> I never developed an affinity for literature. Opted for a law degree instead. What school did you graduate from? Let's see what's on the wall. Oh, this? This is the newest piece in v Vrushali's collection. She was just showing it to me the other day. Entitled Number 14, I believe, by a rising artist with the surname of Larson. Anyway, I don't really understand this modern art business. It's completely beyond me. If you're interested, go talk to Vrushali. She knows way more about it than I do. Let's say, what school? I'm getting straight vibes, honestly. But, you know, I don't know. I attended Stanford University for both undergrad and grad. I love my alma mater, but sometimes I wish our mascot was something cooler than a pine tree. Let's see. Let's see what do you that's amazing. What do you do now? I'm the wrong button. I worked as as an investment banker for a number of years on the East Coast. But after a while it became a little too much for me, so I resigned and moved back west. Now I'm a lecturer at a local university. I don't miss a lot of things, but I do miss my old paycheck. <laughs> yeah, me too. I just uh uh, I, I just fired myself, which is what I was about to say. I just quit my job, uh, my day job. And what about you? Oh, she's asking me. <laughs> Unemployed. I want to say fashion designer because I'm going to say fashion designer. Just to see what she says. Very neat. Are full body disguises coming into fashion. <laughs> Our full body disguise is coming into fashion now. That's funny. Huh. Looks like I'll have to dig through my box of clothes from my vigilant vigilante days. I'm kidding, of course. It's nice talking to you. And you as well. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I got straight vibes. Uh. Okay. This person's gay. Come on. Alex. No, getting this septum piercing didn't hurt too bad. I know you didn't ask, but I thought I'd let you know anyway. It hurt. It hurt. Mine hurt. I got mine... Seven years ago? Eight years ago now? Um, it hurt pretty bad. It, well, well, it made me cry. <laughs> Anyways. What are your pronouns? What's with the tooth? Oh, that's what the necklace is. I can't believe it's fall already. What are your pronouns? She, her. Also, if you don't know my pronouns, I use he, him, and they, them, and the gay she. FYI. Genderqueer woman. Demi-romantic homosexual. Plant kin. I live on a steady diet of dirt. Shoplifters and serial killers are valid. I like the former. <laughs> the latter, though, I don't know. Do not follow if you are a cishet white male person. And you, kind stranger. They, them, agender, pan-romantic, pansexual. Oopsie. That's what I'm gonna say. Oh, yeah. Not safe for work, pomegranate flesh aesthetic blog. D... D, G, L, blogs do not interact. Wait, fuck. Ha, I like you. You're a cool cat. Wait. I'm, well, I'm not gonna say, wait, you're genderqueer and you're a woman. Like, why do we need to, like, question her? Let's see what's with the tooth. You mean this old thing around my neck? Funny you should ask. When I was in high school, I got into f a fight with some punk. Don't remember what. But it was over something stupid. Of course. Anyway, so this kid loses it for whatever reason and starts swinging at me. 
Oh, not loses it as in the tooth. Loses it. His mind or whatever. And boy, was that a mistake on his part. I had two black eyes and a bloody nose by the end of it. But you should have seen the other guy. I took his left molar to commem commemorate my victory. <laughs> Hope he recovered from that one. Just kidding. I got it when I went back to the Philippines. Oh, you're Filipino. So am I. Philippines. Uh, some street vendor was selling them, and I brought I bought one because I thought it looked cool. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Let's go to cases. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Definitely... Wait. Okay. I'm gonna say nay for Chimamanda. And... Okay. I, I kind of like using the mouse, but I feel like it's, like, ugly for capturing. Whatever. Anyways. Um... Well, let's just, let's just say it. I would not say this in real life, but I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, actually. It's weird how I call myself a woman, even though I'm kind of uncomfortable doing so. Because, let's face it, there's something inherently un uncomfortable about womanhood, which all boils down to power dynamics and norms. It's like, you're confined to this very specific idea of what a woman should be, which is constructed to exclude... fat... Wait... I don't know what W... What? I should know this. Uh, I'll just say POC like me. Women. Women? Women for women? I guess I'm not gay. <laughs> I mean, there's something inherently unwomanly and queer about my existence because it contradicts so many aspects of that idea. ideal. It would be silly to force myself to become something I'm not. That's the short version of it anyway. Thanks a lot, Internet Queer and Gender Theory. So we're gonna say... Nice talking to you. Or should I say it's fall? I can't believe it's fall already. I'll say that. Hey, it's not fall until the pumpkin pumpkin everything start waking up from their year-long uh, hibernation. <laughs> God, do I love fall. It means I get to spend way too much time looking at Halloween decorations and little too, and too little time on everything else. No joke, all of my room decorations come from the Halloween section of the local hobby store. It's great. So now I'm gonna say, it's nice talking to you. I think this person's interesting. Same to you. I'll see you around. I was just trying to see if I can check out this, uh, stuff on the table. Lillian. Anyway, Lizzie. Lezzy. <laughs> anyway, Lezzy. <laughs> Name of the episode. Uh, anyway, Lizzy. Like I was saying, Rushali. Wait, how come everything's not capitalized now? Rushali doesn't talk about anything other than, like, that one detective anymore. That's me. Almost makes me wish she still raved about her postmodernist art collection. At least it was interesting. Are you in college? What's your major? Do you, Oh, I've, who's Lizzy? Do anything interesting over the weekend. Let's see who's Lizzie. Oh, that's my friend over here. The one with the red hair and freckles. She doesn't like them. Yeah, because they're ugly. Nice, uh, instax. Shut up. That's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You're like the prettiest person I know. Uh, you always say that though. They're both lesbians. Because it's true, you idiot. I'm gonna say you and Lizzie seem close. Yeah, we met in, like, fourth grade. Oh my god, yeah. I was playing toilet tag. And didn't watch where I was going, so I ran into Lillian at full speed. Bam. And then we both fell on the ground, and you, like, started crying and could not stop. You didn't even say sorry. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. I asked you if you were okay, and you were like, yeah. And then I started crying because I felt bad for hurting you. Yeah, and then I had to spend the rest of lunch trying to console you. Like, shouldn't it have been the other way around? Actually, it didn't even hurt because she was so small. I just played along to make her feel better. Hey, I was in shock, okay? How would you react if you were 10 years old and full-on face-planted into a tree that wasn't there three seconds ago? I would, like, apologize to the tree and offer it some Capricorn. Capri Sun is what I meant to say. I cannot believe I just said it like that. It's the way it was like... 
Anyways, um, no. Kool-Aid is way better. Let's see. Let's see, are you in college? I need some water. Fashion design. Fashion design. It's a ton of work. Water. Sorry. I used to make cosplays for Lizzie back when... Hold on. When she was still into that stuff. She would get this big old grin on her face when she wore them for the first time. I've done... Utana... Sailor Neptune... Did I say that right? God Tier Rose... Akemi Homura... I'm not big on anime and manga anymore. I used to be... In high school... I don't know. So I don't know those things. Well, I know the Sailor... Neptune. Oh my god, yikes! Stop, you're embarrassing me. Was it Neptune? I don't remember now. Anyway, yeah. We were quite a team. Won the cosplay competition three years in a row. Good times. So let's say, do anything interesting over the weekend. Boom. We went to a Regina Specter concert and it was lit. Oh my god, yes. She was so perfect and talented. I love her so much. Does she still perform? Still writing songs and stuff? Yeah. Our other friend got, like, front row seats but couldn't come, so she gave her tickets to us. That's nice. What a goddess. We were, like, right in front of Regina Spectre. I couldn't believe I was so close to her. It was a religious experience. Lost my voice the next day because I was screaming so much. Yep, me too. I'm, like, still recovering. They're gay. I think they're gay. In college. Mm -hmm. I'll say it's nice talking to you. Same. Smell you later. I don't smell. <laughs> Who is this Eeyore? Joe. How do I say an emoji in real life? <laughs> so how are you? Get much sleep lately? What's your favorite animal? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with how are you. Okay, we both know that phrase is said as a formality, and you don't actually want to know how I'm doing. Are you gay or just depressed? <laughs> I'm supposed to respond with something fake like good, even though we both know we both know darn well that's the furthest thing from the truth right now. I think I need to shave my nose hairs. Why am I expected to act like everything is alright? Is it because it's socially tabooed to not be alright? I S to G Wow, I don't know what that means. As soon as... I don't know what that means. I'm bad. I'm, I'm too old for this. <laughs> as soon as I say no... Um, people will be like, what's wrong? Or, better yet, do absolutely nothing and stand there soaking up the awkwardness. I mean, I'll probably look up what S2G means. Maybe I'll just do it right now. Look, I don't know the things, okay? S2G mean question mark. Swear to God. Yeah, didn't know, okay. And if you complain too much, they will accuse you of being an attention seeker. Like, who, I know a TF, the fuck, because I use that, asked for your attention in the first place. Why can't I be sad without wanting attention? So yeah, the sooner we can phase that saying out of the English language, the sooner we can move on to a species. Species? Hey, seriously, are you okay? Should I say get much sleep lately? I'm gonna say it. About four hours on average on weekdays. More on the weekends. I thought she was gonna be mad that we said that. But she doesn't seem to mind. She, I mean, she, I guess she's already so mad. I procrastinate on everything, even sleep. Sleep is for the weak. I have three black belts in insomnia. It's whatever, you know. Only shortening my lifespan by half a century or so. No big deal. I'll say yikes, you must be busy. Yeah, it's a hard life when you're inventing the cure for cancer while ending world hunger on the side. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Actually, it's because of homework and video games. I knew it! However, or somehow, I still manage to be bad at both. It's a talent, I guess. Oh, I said animal. It says anime. God. Easy. 
Love, Liv, Nico Nico, your waifu is shite. Does it bother you that some people use same or me as filler responses instead of replying with something more meaningful? Hey, seriously, are you okay? I'm gonna say that. Does it bother you? Same. <laughs> oh, what a jerk. Okay, hey, seriously, are you okay? Not really. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, there's dot, 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 dots above the couch. Dot, 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 dot. Oh my god, so many dots. Okay, dot dot dot. Dot 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 slime man. Were you expecting an actual answer? No. Well, nice talking to you. Yeah, see ya. This like Slumped over look. I'm a great gay detective. Gay detective. Monica. Whew, managing two kids and a family can sure get tiring. Uh, I'm taking some well-deserved time off for myself. You need good books lately? I like your scarf. Can you tell a joke? Let's do a joke. Let's go with joke. A joke? Hmm. Let me think. Oh, yes. My friend Sharon posted this on Facebook, and I thought it was ha- Hilarious. Okay, here goes. I'm gonna drink some water. How do you clean a wine glass? Dot 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 dot. By pouring in more wine. LOL. Okay. When it, it wasn't a gay joke, but you know. Look at look at what she's wearing. What her outfit's kind of gay, but we gotta we gotta inquire more. Well, now that both Jeremy and Emily are in school, I barely have time any time to read anymore. Just because she has kids doesn't mean she's not gay. But they're named Jeremy and Emily. But in between dropping Emily off for clarinet lessons and picking up Jeremy from soccer practice, I can hunker down with a good book to clear my mind. Right now, I'm reading Bridging the Gap, a guide to building a better relationship with your teen. You see, Jeremy is almost at that dreaded age, but I want him to know that even though he's starting to figure things out for himself, I'll always be there for him. Before that, I read Fifty Shades of Grey. She might be straight. I didn't really like it. I'll say I like your scarf. Thank you. I thought the blood orange went went really well with my denim jacket. I bought it from the friend. I I got it at the comfort zone. I bought it from my friend Susan's et Etsy shop. She makes the loveliest scarves and hats. My kids wear them too. I met Susan when I started a home life a home life blog three years ago. Okay, I think she's straight. She's been reading my recipes and parenting tips ever since the beginning. Nice talking to you. You too. Good night. <laughs> I bid you. Ooh, looking gay. Kind of looks like me when I was a teenager, actually. Why did the music stop? Nessa? Da 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 da. Is that you? Ha! That's funny. I don't give answers, both in real life and in game. Do you? Hold on. Let's go to cases real quick. Okay, so we met all the people. I'm gonna say nay. Gay. And gay. I think they're- yeah, I think Lillian and Lizzie are gay. Monica's straight. Alex is definitely gay. Chimamanda's nay. Joe's gay. I think Joe's gay. Honestly. But anyways, let's uh proceed with this here. Ha, that's funny. <laughs> I don't give answers both in real life and in game. Do you? I'm saying that one. Taking the fifth, I see. I respect that. I'm gonna ask some questions though, if you don't mind. Oops, oh, frick. Hold on, hold on. 
Do you, ha do you have any pets? What's your favorite sport? What kind of music do you like? Let's go music. Haley Kyoko. Uh, that name sounds familiar. Yeah, I hear her songs on the radio sometimes. I think they're pretty catchy. Do you have any pets? No. Chopper's the orange one. This one's Kitty. She's gray and white. Wait, you just said no, you don't have pets. I'm confused. I have another one, Boo, but she's... He's shy around strangers. He's probably hiding underneath... Under the bed right now. Haha. <laughs> What's your favorite sport? Oh, sorry. I'm busy on Saturday. I've got softball league finals. Maybe next week? Yeah, that's gay. Aw, oh, thanks. I hope luck is on my side, too. Is this stuff I've heard before? Yeah, I knew all that stuff already. I'm gonna say that. This is pointless. So many dots. Then why are you still here? Why are you always everywhere? I wanna say, why are you always everywhere? Who is this? Nessa, the truth is, I don't tell you everything. I don't want you... I don't want to... I don't want to know me like that. <laughs> I want to say I, I don't want you to know me like that. So many dots. I'm sick. I'm disgusting. I'm unnatural. I'm sick? I don't know. I'll say I'm unnatural. I'm sorry for not telling the truth. Do you forgive me? I don't know what's happening right now. I'll say I'm sorry for not telling the truth. That's okay. I wouldn't either. Who is this person? Nessa, why are you so good to me? To be honest, I'm terrified of you. Dots. You're the closest person to me. That means you can hurt me the most. What the fuck is happening? Haha. -ha. Isn't it funny, the way it works? The more you love someone, the more you put yourself in danger. True. Dot dot dot. Can I ever feel safe around you? But what if? What if? It's always the what-ifs. Let's say, but what if, what if? I don't know, therefore I fear. It's only illogical, right? Nessa, I'm so scared, please don't leave me. I'm gonna say I'm scared. I still don't know what's happening, though. <laughs> don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. Let's say the last don't leave me. Da da da, da da da, da 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 Sorry, this is a different game. Uh, I'm so lonely, I'm so lonely, I'm so lonely. Let's say the first I'm so lonely. I'm not gonna say the dots anymore. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Let's do middle. Eee. Eee. I'm not like that. Eee, ooh, ah, yeah. See you anyway? Please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. See you Saturday. <laughs> oh. That's today, isn't it? So I get another opportunity? I'll say that's today, isn't it? Today is Saturday as I'm recording this. Shit, is everything just opportunities now? Is this all you mean to me? Maybe today's the day to get this over with? Maybe it's finally time to step up. I'm gonna say that. I like how her face is in between the two options. It's cute. But it's not like she's obligated to know. Hell, it's probably better if she doesn't. I don't know what's happening, but I'll say this. But I want her to know. I'm so tired of hiding. I want her to know. Is it lying if I don't tell her? Should I jeopardize my relationship for something so selfish? I'm so confused on what's happening right now. Like, is it... Like, um... I'm a detective, but I'm, like, also in the closet or something? Is it lying if I don't tell her? I should do something, I should do nothing. I should do something. Yeah, you're right. It's only gonna get worse from here. Ah, hell. What should I say? Maybe something like, Hey, Nessa, we've been friends for a long time, but lately I'm realizing that I see you as a... Wait. So this is someone I just want to be friends with? I'm so confused. Okay. No, that's too cheesy. How about, there's something I've been meaning to tell you, I'm not who you think I am. That? Nah, I'm beating around the bush here. Perhaps something along the lines of, Nessa, I don't really like boys, and... 
Say that. Ugh, that's too sudden. Jeez, is there no right way to do this? Is there a combination of words out there that are not too awkward or cliche? Okay, so this is my good friend and I'm in love with her or something? Wow, th this is harder than I thought. Even my hardest case was easier than this. I'm gonna say that. Nessa, I love you so much, but you probably don't feel the same way. I'll say I love you so much. How can I, how can I tell you how important you are to me? I don't want to scare you away. Nessa, I don't know what I should do. Normally, you're here to talk me through it. Not this time, though. I have to do this by myself. See you Saturday. Okay. Yeah, see you Saturday. So that was all, like, internal stuff. I guess it's for the best. Okay, later. <laughs> Detective! Uh... What do I do now? Glad to see you've made it! Wait... Can you tell me more about this untitled number 14? Oh yes, certainly! Mr. Larson is one of our favorite... One of my favorite artists. His work is so daring and novel. This particular piece is ballpoint pen on parchment. He used an entire pack, over 400 straight lines, hand-drawn. It took six months to finish it. The artist described having an out-of-body experience every time he sat down to work on it. The room would fall away, and it would just be him and the tip of his pen. It was his way of finding order in the chaos of his life while the unseen spacing between his lines reveal the chaos in his carefully constructed order. Anyway, like I mentioned before, I absolutely adore his work. I have several of his other pieces in my collection, including two Michelangelo's David figurines, which he broke and reassembled. Yeek. Okay. I'm gonna say gotta get on with it. I understand, Andrew. So, uh... What do I do? Wait. Oh, fuck. We already did this. I'm eating a sugar cone without the ice cream. That's when you know you're really sad. Let's just leave the party and see what happens. 9.30 a.m. Good morning, detective. Did you get a good night's sleep? I know I did. But let's get down to business here. What did you have for me? Okay. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Interesting. Are those your final decisions? Let's go over one more time. No worries. Okay. Alex, gay. Whoops. Shimamanda, nay. Joe, gay. Monica, nay. Wait, I can't see. Please take 30 more seconds to finalize your decisions. If you're ready before then, just click the exit button. Tuck down the preferences button. Gay and gay. Wait, is it that button? Oh, she doesn't look happy. Roshali. I see. Detective, I am terribly sorry. There's something I must confess. I've run the answer since the beginning. They were all gay? About every single one of our one of the guests. I wanted to see for myself whether you were what the papers made you out to be. Whether it was clever deception or true talent. And I have made up my mind now. The great detective Sappho, prodigy, or phony? Here, see for yourself. What? What? <laughs> K. 
cute. Hey, so about that weird dialogue earlier? The one where you chose to do nothing? You're probably in a real tough spot right now. And I get it. I was in a similar situation once. It's not your fault. It's not a fault. It's not a fault at all. Nor is it sinful or unnatural. The facts are out there. No one should have to go through this. Yet here you are. You goddamn existed, then the world decided that it didn't like you. It didn't understand you, nor did it make an effort to. All because you didn't play by the rules of their silly little game. So I ded dedicated this game to you. You. The you sitting in front of the computer screen who gets tongue-tied around people you're supposed to love and trust. That's you. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> it's you. The you who made a home out of a closet. That's also you. The you who never really had a choice in the first place. It's you. Things are probably horrible right now, and they may still be horrible for a bit longer. But there are people out there who care. I do. Believe me, they do. People out there who love you for who you are, not what they want you to be. <laughs> Even if they might... The color changed. Even if they might not be your own family. Even if chosen family. Even if they're scattered around the world. My nose is itching. Even if they've only gotten to know you through a video game. If you need serious help, don't hesitate to call. I'm going to say the number. 866 488 7386. Or text Trevor to 1 202 304 1200. Anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you. That you are loved by more people than you think. That you deserve a happy ending just like everyone else. Stay strong, friend. Take care. Love your pal Sky. And that is Gay Detective. <laughs> cute little game. It's cute, it's cute, it's cute. I like it. <sighs> so wholesome. Alright, we're getting out of here. Bye.